call analysis on torsion spring on the screen you can see there are various types of spring out of which i have already done analysis of helical compression spring and helical tension spring i will give the link of both the analysis in the description box today i am going to solve torsion spring so this is how the torsion spring looks like there are various applications of torsion spring and how does it work i will tell you in short if you look at the torsion spring one end of the torsion spring is going to be fixed and the other end you will apply some force or some movement now it can be possible that on the sides you apply some force balancing each of them or i can say one end has fixed and the other end has some force which is equal and opposite to the force reaction at this end so it can be either force or movement at the two ends i will show you some examples of it this is the first example which you see over here this is a mouse trap you can see in between there is a torsion spring which is attached one end is attached to the end here and the other end of the torsion spring is attached here so as soon as the mouse enters over here there is some load at this end obviously the spring back action is going to pull this trap and close the mouse into it and that spring back action happens because of a spring which is torsion spring attached over here so this is one example this is another example which everyone is well versed about this is a cloth peg which is used for holding the cloths in the cloth line you can see over here there's a torsion spring in every cloth peg you will see a torsion spring attached this works on a similar principle when you apply some moment on one end the other end is going to balance and the peg is going to either open up or close this is an example of sports equipment this is a cruncher when force is applied from both the ends at that time these two ends will come closer and the amount of force will be resisted by this turns of the spring when the force is applied these all turns of the spring they come closer and they are going to offer some resistance to its motion the moment the force is released because of this reaction force the cruncher end will come back to its original position so this is another example uh, so i hope you have understood the working and the applications of this there are many more applications that can be used in the door for opening and closing of the door there are hair clips which also have this kind of a locking system so this is a very commonly used spring now let's go for the analysis of the spring i'll go to ansys workbench i'll go to static structural and double click i'll rename it as torsion spring right click on geometry new design model geometry i am going to sketch the geometry over here and then do the analysis if you want you can also download the step file or stp file and do the analysis i go to units millimeter xy look at i first sketch a straight line and give it some dimensions say 50 i'll also attach the link from where you can download the step file of this geometry i'll go to model now i'll make a new sketch i'll go to sketch 2 sketching i'll draw a circle here i have used the same method for making a compression spring you can go and check the video i'll give it some dimensions now i'll use the option sweep the profile is a circle and path is this line apply i'll change twist specification to turns and the number of turns i'll give as 20 you can give as many turns as you are required to solve for so this is how it is going to look like now we need to draw the two ends over here i'll choose face option new plane generate look at i'll go to sketching i'll draw a circle here it's a random circle i'll give constraint coincident i'll select the circle outer circle and the inner circle Okay, there is a small problem here. That is, when I was using the sweep option, these circles have become too close to each other. So I'll just go to sketch two and change this dimension to two point five. The 
Now you can see there's some space over here. I'll go to sweep, number of turns, I'll change it to say 15, generate. Now you can see there's some spacing, I'll go to plane 4, sketch, look at. Now I'll use the option of constraint. Coincident. I'll select the outer circle and the inner circle and it has become coincident. Now I'll extrude the circle, apply to a depth of say 30, generate. Similarly, on this face, again I'm going to use the same method. I'll extrude this to 30 mm as well. Generate. So you can see over here, this is my torsion spring. The only thing I'll change is I'll go to sweep and turns, I think I can make it to 18. I can make it to 19, not 20, just 19 is fine. So this is how you make a torsion spring. This is my geometry. Now I'll go to model and double click on it. I go to solid. I want to change the material. I want to choose stainless steel as the material here. So I'll go to engineering data sources, general materials. I'll choose stainless steel, project, update project. I'll double click on model again. My solid will have material stainless steel. I'll go to mesh, sizing. I'll change it to fine. Update. Now I'll go to analysis settings. On this end, I'm going to apply fixed support. And on this one, I'm going to insert moment. I'll change vector to component. Along the y axis, I'll apply some moment. Y axis, I'll apply moment of 50 Newton mm. I go to solution and solve. I go to solution, right click, insert stress equivalent 1 minus, right click, insert strain equivalent 1 minus, right click, insert deformation directional say I want the deformation along y axis right click insert I want to see what is the moment reaction at the fixed end solution solve so you can see over here this is my stress value which I have obtained you can see the animation This is my equivalent strain. This is my directional deformation. Finally, this is my moment reaction which I have obtained. The value we can see to the left over here. So, this is how the analysis is supposed to be done. Instead of moment, you can also use force. But you will get better results when you use moment. So, I hope you have understood the geometry making of torsional spring and its analysis. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for getting the latest updates of my videos. If you have any doubt, 
do let me know in the comment section if you have any question which you want me to solve also let me know in the comment section regarding that i'll see you in the next session thank you